Welcome to Al Faisal Clinical Skills Center. I am Nasser Ali Afsar and um, I will demonstrate uh, to you today uh, the technique of intravenous injections. Let me show you what are the required stuff you would require for this activity. This is the, um, the typical disposable syringe, the tourniquet, the bandage which you apply after the intravenous injection is over, alcohol swabs, gloves, and a sanitizer to clean your hands. So let's start. For this uh, uh, activity, for this procedure, I will use the intravenous injection uh, mannequin. Now, what we do uh, for, for this, uh, for the purpose of demonstration, we will use normal saline uh, to uh, draw one cc of normal saline into this disposable syringe and then apply later on. So, uh, before you start, once you have sanitized your hands, it's um, always advisable that you wear uh, gloves that fit your size of the hand. All right, so now this is a typical disposable syringe which has got uh, the chamber which will be filled and a needle which is attached at the, at the front of it and uh, there is a cap of the needle which uh, you know which covers the needle part so that it doesn't uh, poke yourself or you know unnecessarily elsewhere the needle if um, if you could zoom in please the needle has got a bevel up and a bevel down, a bevel up end, and then there is a straighter part underneath. So the way I am holding it at the moment, bevel of the needle, the, the one, the cut part, uh, which gives it uh, the, the insertion point, uh, that one is now positioned upward. Yeah, this one is positioned upward, and then um, this is the one uh, which you will keep in mind when you get into the vein. So let me fill in one cc of normal saline. You always hold the, uh, the medication vial like that or the bottle whatever. Get into it carefully and draw one ml or one cc of normal saline. Now we are done. Now here you could see there are some, some bubbles, so always try to uh, collect the bubbles on the remaining air at the top and then try to squeeze it you know, at the top so that fluid uh, should fill all the spaces rather than the air. Air should not enter the vein. Now once we are done, now take out one of the alcohol swaps. and then try to identify which area you would like to uh, start with. Now we have few veins pretty visible. One is here, that, another one here, another one here. So um, for example, if I prefer this vein, I will try to clean the area and then apply a tourniquet proximal to it so that uh, the arm, the vein gets engorged and easy to get into. Now, tourniquet binding is itself um, uh, requires some technique. And remember, when you will be injecting any drug and you are within the vein, uh, it will be easy if the tourniquet could be released at the time of uh, giving the giving the injection with one hand, because the other hand will be holding the syringe. So. So ideally, the tourniquet should um, be tied in a way or applied in a way that it could be opened with one hand. So I will keep it underneath one right side end and then the left end. The right up, the left down, up and down. And here I apply some pressure like that. And then with my thumb, I will drive this part underneath and then tighten. 
allow a few seconds so that the arm gets engorged, the, the, the vein in the arm gets engorged. After a few seconds, if you try to locate, uh, the vein is pretty obvious. You can palpate the vein if, um, if you like and if you think it's, it's not uh, easily um, located. Then it's a, always a good idea if you fix or stabilize the skin or the vein, try to um, you know, give a gentle traction along the longitudinal axis of the vein so that the, the skin and the fascia or the vein, because they are superficial veins, they will be fixed and uh, they won't move. So, so the rolling under the, um, the skin will be prevented. So it will be an easy entry then. All right, so now uh, I will again ensure there are no bubbles. Bevel always up. These are superficial veins, so you would enter at an um, acute angle, at an acute angle, rather than um, say maybe around 20, 25, but less than 30. All right. So here we locate. This is the the point which uh, I aim to get into. All right. Here we go. Bevel always up. Bevel. The the cut part of the needle should be up. Here we go, along this, you try to fix the vein and then slowly, once you enter, there will be a little give way. Try to draw back some blood so that it's now clear that you are actually within the vessel. Release the tourniquet in the vessel. And then, once you are, once you have ensured that you are within the vein, then just push the drug slowly into the vein. Apply firm pressure and keep it uh, pressed firmly. Now, if you have got a sharps container, dispose the needle uh, uh, instantaneously. Otherwise. Carefully, the way I have shown, carefully cap it and uh, uh, place it for later disposal. So once it, it has a few seconds, you know, under pressure, fine pressure, then I think uh, it's sufficient enough. Now you can leave it there. Yeah, there is no bleeding, so it's already done. You can take out one of the um, bandages. Avoiding uh, to touch the cotton pad, as you could see, there is a cotton pad. So don't touch the cotton pad. That was the point of entry. We will just apply the cotton pad here. And here you go. Thank you very much.